In this problem, we are asked to figure out an insulin dose based on the patient's weight. Let's take a look through the problem for important details. First, we see that regular insulin is to be infused at 0.1 units per kilogram per hour. We see the child's weight is given in kilograms, so that saves us a conversion. And we see that the insulin is supplied 100 units in 500 milliliters of normal saline. The question is asking us to figure out the milliliter per hour rate. We're going to start with the rate based on kilograms. And I'm going to write this in dimensional analysis. It is possible to set this up using a proportion as well. So we have 0 0.1 unit per kilogram per hour. Both the kilogram and the hour go on the bottom of this fraction. We will multiply this times the patient's weight, which is 15 kilograms. And that is for one patient, so we'll just place that over one, and that cancels our label of kilograms. Our goal is to get to milliliters per hour, and so we want to change the units into milliliters. We already have the label of hour. In order to cancel the label of unit, I'll put the 100 units that are in the IV bag in the denominator of the fraction. And I'll put the volume, the 500 milliliters, on the top of this fraction because these two numbers go together as the strength of the medication. Units cancels, and our remaining labels are milliliters per hour, which is the exact label that we wanted to find. So we'll go to our calculator. Our first number is 0 0.1, multiplying that times 15, and also times 500. We'll divide that by the 100 that's on the bottom of our fraction, and we get our answer of 7.5 milliliters per hour. Milliliters per hour is typically rounded to the tenths, and since this number came out in the tenths, we don't have to do any rounding at all.